Brim. Here, boy. How'd you do? Oh, Brim. What do you want? Get anything important out of him? Not really. We salted his wounds, broke his fingers, scorched his feet. They didn't so much as peep his own name. Tried to bite off his own tongue, in fact. Them elves. Like a bit of suffering, methinks. Maybe he's hoping to be rescued. Not likely. Someone massacred him. The whole unit. That's what the Royal Mages asked him about. Who it was and where they are now. There's no understanding elves. If he answered, we'd hang him quickly. It'd have peace. But he prefers to suffer. How did you catch him? We didn't. Nothing to boast of, really. We found him. Barely alive. He was lying in the ravines among the corpses of other squirrels. Terrible bloodbath it was. As if a mad medic slashed them with a giant scalpel. Aiming at their arteries, no less. For there was blood everywhere. Nasty splashes even high up in the rocks. When was this? Before that ghastly fog appeared. Can I talk to him? No chance. I don't know ya. Hmm. How might we get to know each other? Trust needs to be earned, mate. You best go. Now. Oh, oh Here, boy. Oh, Grim. The enemy have fed you their propaganda. Ah. Oh, well, what if she's truly an anointed Here, boy. Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Trouble. Something's brewing. What is it? You're young. This your first excursion? Aye. I'm itching for that battle. <laughs> young and zealous. Not afraid? Of who? Short arses led by a lass. We'll thrash him! Hello. Trouble. Something's brewing. What is it? I heard you and your men arm wrestle a bit. What's it to you? That sport's only for the strongest. Do I look like a wimp to you? Truth be told, but I'm willing to test you. If you want to wrestle, put down your orange and we'll get to it. Let's do this. <laughs> You're tough. Looking for something? I heard some tough men serving your company. You were right. Care to test that with a little arm wrestling contest? Why not? If you want to wrestle, I need to see some orans. Let's do this. Your paws are strong as a bear's. I'll give you that. Yours are strong for a human's, I guess. Leave me be, father. Leave you be? Your life's at stake. Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you. No. This is about my honor. And play what mother does to you. I'll practice. I must prepare. Leave me be, <laughs> Witcher. I must train. No time for a- Dice. Hi. Dice. Who else plays around here? They're Zivik, Madame Carol, and Lesota. But they're masters. They'll only play you if you beat us. Maybe some other time. Why didn't they turn out like it? Must be devilish blood. 
Are you moved by the prophet Lebioda's parables? Then spare an oran for his humble followers. Having an oran and not having an oran makes two orans. Cheapskate. Going to the slaughter like a pig for a feast. And there's not I can do. Mind if I join you? Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? Always better to talk business over a tankard. Let me buy a round. All the same to me. Getting sad drunk? Mm-hmm. My son's decided to kill himself. He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid? Who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and Henset don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did he have to be like me? Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Piss off! I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send him out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirne? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? I told you, your father asked me. And you courteously agreed. Is that so? Yes. You lie. What difference does it make, really? I'm looking for Letan Davit, the Butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a Witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who ploughs maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Surprise! They have a hand in every rebellion, oh, every cause. You know me, I'm not prejudiced. And? Has he agreed? Yes. Some horse and they? Unique among them. Ready? Uh huh. Let's go get him.
Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin the Petal Lisum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. May the gods favor the better men. Begin. Anyone know what it's all about? contest was a noble title. Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Hensel, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Hensel! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now! The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty with a labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? Everything has its price. What is it you wish? Information on those who carry square coins. Father! Silence! Why do you need to know? I just need to know what this is all about. Ah, uh, it's a long story. I've got time. It started before the victory at Brenna, when we split Edorn between ourselves and Nilfgaard. We were shamed throughout the north. What's that got to do with the coins? Everyone wanted to thrash the Black Ones, not play brother to them. A group of officers hatched a plot. The coins there mark. I don't know who gathered the first group of plotters, but the seeds of the scheme fell on fertile soil and sprouted quickly. Then came Brenna, and it all died down. The plotters themselves lost direction, so it seems they resurfaced recently. Is Hensel dealing with Nilfgaard again? Who knows? But he's welcomed that shriveled old bat here and spends time in discussions with him. That plot, well... The lads just want to prevent the Black Ones from meddling in our affairs. Not more. You know a lot. You got a coin? Ah, I'm old. I know that he who gains power loses his heart. I'm past the age of taking the crown off one head and placing it on another. But my son still believes a monarch can be just. Why must you know if I have a coin? I can't say. And neither can you, father. 
An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Randy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we evil? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Death Mole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. Still look Witcher. What? The king is impressed with your skills. He's called on me to organize a tournament. If this goes on, his entire army will be slaughtered before he moves against Edern. This time it'll be a tourney of knights. None of that slaughter for the riffraff to enjoy. The king will reward the winners handsomely. If you're interested, find me by the arena. What else am I to do? This is What is it, Witcher? <laughs> Who's this Audrin you're calling out for? A Kedweni god of some sort? <laughs> Audrin a god? If you suggested the god of drink here, I might agree. He's a maid. We agreed to meet at the tavern, but he's gone and got lost. If you find him, tell him we're waiting. How will I know it's him? Oh, you'll know Adrin. Nobody quite like that can't. <laughs> Shall we roll him? Care for a game. Give me another shot. What do you want? Normally, I only talk to drunks. Let me buy you a beer. All right. What do you want to talk about? What do you know about the Virgin of Edda? No one's plowed her. I'm serious. They say she killed a dragon. Those Edernians have gone silly about her. I heard the story about the dragon is true. What of it? That don't mean she should be crowned queen. <laughs> True, but people follow her. Folks are fools and like freaky things. Saskia's a freak. Maidenhood intact and hunting dragons. <coughs> Ever heard of a stranger, lass? What else am I to do? This mist drives me crazy. How's service under Hensel? See anybody complaining? And we don't like busybodies. What else am I to do? This mist drives me crazy. Salutations. What do you want? <laughs> to talk. I just arrived. What do you want to know? Hansel has no sorceress at court. Indeed. And he won't. How do you know? Wasn't for naught he burned that Sabrina Gless. <laughs> Whatever. Won't take on another after her. Death Mold would never agree to it anyway. Strange custom. Death Mold has more to say than the king. How should I know? <laughs> Sabrina's dead, and that's that. Some mourn her. Most just couldn't give a goat's arse. Audrey, where are Piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? 
This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pigs in the pen, that's your place. Are you alright? You best leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The spectres haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the spectre remained. It went on talking, hovering over me, stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A spectre's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then, they mock me. Call me the Crapper. I didn't see anyone mocking you. Well, except for those two drunks. Then you haven't looked around well enough. I'm the laughing stock of the entire camp. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demavan's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, it was dawning in the east. I'll deal with the Spectre. But you should know a witch's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Will you do it for that? All right. Witcher. Get up, you piss pump. Your friends are worried sick about you. What? Where am I? What am I doing here? This is strange. Are you Aldrin? Aldrin! That's right! And that one was a confront. Not a proper her, you know? I was all la dee da, I'll play you nice, I says. And she done scream at me! Like a broxa! Listen, Audrin, you're so drunk a single spark and you'd be a torch. Now straighten up and shut up or the guards won't let you in the camp. So I says to her, I says, Squirr, shmur, what squirr? What the fuck fist do you mean? I wanna apply. And this cunt's prating on about squirr fish. Tell me about the square fish later. We gotta get you back to your friends. They're worried about you. Me mates? Oath? Ulf, me brother, where is he? Ulf! Ulf! Calm down and try not to puke on the guards.
Calm down and stand up straight. Time. Up. Yes, sir. I'm going where I'm going. I'm not going where I'm not going. Halt! What's that corpse you want to drag into the camp? Private Audrin. He's a... uh... sick. Looks like he slept in a vat full of booze. <coughs> It smells like he fell out of a dwarf's arsehole. Why, you limp arse prick? You saying I stink? Come here! Audrin, <laughs> shut up. King Henzelt's in danger, and this is the only man who can provide important information. That's right. I'm the fucking only man. <laughs> the only one. Get it? That's me. Shut up, Audrin. Important information. From him. You better believe it. The commander catches him in the camp in that state, he'll skin him alive. Then skin me alive for letting him in. Tough life being a guard. Aye. And the pays piss poor. Don't I know it? Thirty gold coins and you're in. Audrin, come on. Where do all these drunks come from? Shit, fuck. And the mice? I'm back! I won! Yeah! Shut up, Audrin. Let's look for your friends. Uh -huh. See, I'm gonna take me a nap right here. You wake me just as soon as you've brought him to me. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. What? Huh? Who are you? Oh, right. Wait a second. Oh, did you see that? Something just flew past my head. Audrin, where are you? One tank Bats. three, tank is three, Bats. tank is four. If Bats. you're really badly wounded, Bats. knock your guts up on the floor. Five tank is six tank is you look like a ghoul. Don't fall at the table, tie your ass to your stool. Ten tank is onwards and your guts are like a stone. Can't even see you prick, it's time to head for home. The cock calls and dawns like damn he's bloody loud. Suit up, fall in, attack it, get well found. Oh, One tank to two, two tank three, three tank is four. four. If you're really badly wounded, you mark your guts up on the floor. Ah! Get him away! Five tank is six tank is you look like a ghoul. Don't fall into the table, table tire. Audrin, stop fucking around and get up. Don't want you to talk to me. Don't let me see you break. It's time to head home. The cock calls and dawns like damn he's bloody loud! Shoot up, fall in! Attack and get well found! Get well found! One tank is two, tank is three, tank is four! If you're feeling badly woozy, bark your guts up on the floor! Five tanks, six tanks, you look like a ghoul. Don't fall into the table, tie your ass to your stool. Ten tanks is onwards and you got to like a stone. Can't even see your prick, it's time to head for home. The cock calls it dawns like... Beer! I'm buying. Ever see a witcher spreading coin around? Well, ever. A first for me. It all depends on the company. Hear that, cocksuckers! Now step the fuck away from my best myth. Beer inspires great conversation. Now that was... beautiful. What you said. So, <laughs> what are we gonna converse about? I came here from Temeria. I visited once beautiful country. The women there have huge tits. People in Temeria fear Henselt. 
They think he'll take advantage of Foltest's death and attack from the west. They're right. <laughs> and while he's at it, Hensel will plough all his other neighbours too. I hear people fear him more each day. Folk fear kings just as ants fear bears, wouldn't you say? Ants are small and stupid. They don't realize that if all the ant hills united, they'd easily kick the bear's ass. That's right. Long live the ants! Who are you? I like to know who I'm drinking with. With friends! Your presence here is no coincidence, I sense. I don't particularly like Henselt, and I'm just interested to know what you think of him. There was a time I'd have put me head on the block for him. Was? Wouldn't be around if it wasn't for Henselt. It's true. He saved my old man in battle. Pop just lost an eye and his right hand. But not his bollocks. He'd not do that now. He don't look to his soldiers no more. Forgotten us, the ingrate. Well, it's no surprise they want to get rid of him, huh? Audrin, shut it. Geralt's like a brother. I'll keep no secrets from him. Who are you talking about? A knave, greedy and cruel. Kills for pleasure. A son of a bitch has magic armor and plays tough. Thought he could do what he pleased until he caught Death Mole's eye. Now he's hiding. Too bad about them other lads. If Trot's caught, he'll give them all up. Heads will roll, I tell ya. Some peoples have come together to plot. They wanted me to join them, but I was too busy. And I don't trust this Trot. Them other coiners is all right, but Vincent's a greedy sadist. Where can I find them? What you mean, where? The brothel, of course. Ask for whistling, Wendy. I'm not looking for a whore. Once you have her, pay attention now. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Get it right. Except you won't get the fucker then. Ah! And give her this. I've no use for this coin. Won't buy me no beer. Wendy'll take you to them coiners.
Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands, hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. What are they doing there? It's a common malady. A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. They may never return. Anything's possible. But I for one hope they just overdid it with the liquor and fell asleep in some bush. We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. What do you want, Witcher? Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesig, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Tamerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire. But somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee. Died like many others. Though no one knows who did it and no one ever found his corpse. What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the autumn equinox. The Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armoured infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment, all save the King. They numbered more than 5,000. General Vandergrift, commander of the Kedwenis, had less than 4,000, including the elite bearheads, armoured troops from Ard Karaig, and the famous white foxes of the north. And ourselves, the Don Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandergrift the Visitor. Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. Did you see the duel between Saltkirk and Vandergrift? From a distance. At the time I was on that hill and they were somewhere over there. The field used to be as flat as a table. It was their second duel. Earlier, in peacetime, they'd met at a tournament in Ard Karaig. Selkirk won then. Vandergrift's sword cracked and the visitor had to yield. 
After the tournament, he had a new sword forged by Kedwin's best mages and swordsmiths. That's how Loathen came to be. I think that means hatred in the Elder language. Pretty pretentious. They say a sorcerer cast a spell on the sword and told Vandergrift the blade wouldn't crack as long as he remained invincible. The mage got fifty lashes and was the last to mention any such nonsense. Who has Vandergrift's sword now? When the Sea of Flames died out, the looters ran amok. They found Selkirk's chain mail, which survived somehow. Maybe it was magical too. Vandergrift's sword went missing. The boys in the camp claim the female dragon slayer has it, but I wouldn't even try talking to her. Who's got Selkirk's chainmail? Uh, a certain Vincent Trot. Low nobility, in the army since forever, a greedy bastard. Where can I find him? That's a problem. Deathmole wanted him arrested after they found a square coin on him. Some of the officers and noblemen want to get rid of the Black Ones. They don't like how they lord it around the camp, even though the King talks to them. Those coins are their sign, the stupid bunch of plotters. Anyway, Vincent's a swashbuckler. He thrashed Deathmold's people and disappeared. Those with the coins won't say a word because they're scared of Deathmold. Thanks, Civic. From what I can see, you and the men love your King. He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too, though you got to earn that in battle. Been so distinguished three times already, pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died, many others got sick. I path... pass... Half aside that village. We hit them so hard we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days and the king was very pleased. He came around, gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed and said, You are one true son of a bitch. If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. I'd like to play dice. Wanna play right now? Here's your reward. That was good rolling. You deserve it. Who else plays dice around here? Madam Carol ought to play you. Interesting match that would be. Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make camp with the Black Ones. That's politics. What's it to us? We should have our sea. Take an interest in things. Or it will turn out like the mill in Stiltum. The one the smith from Jailmouth took over when he married the miller's widow. It's a bad chance of Henselt and Shillard inviting us to their meeting. But well, we should at least object somehow. The spit at the sight of the Black Ones. Turn our heads away. Piss on their tents. Just need to watch that we don't make a mistake. Crowners, we have trolls. I see you finally decided to relax. Have I ever told you I think you lead a very unhealthy life? You've mentioned it. Evidently not enough for you to take it to heart. Anyway, the whores are quite decent here. Maybe some other time. You worry me. Henselt's camp is abuzz with rumors about the events three years ago. When you burn a sorceress at the stake, rumors spread faster than the seed of a lascivious baron. I know you primarily value sorceresses for their firm busts, but I'm curious. What do you think of Sabrina Glevisig? Sorceresses complain about feeling underappreciated, persecuted even. But let me tell you, Geralt, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If they didn't meddle, they wouldn't be burned at the stake. They keep whining about the horrors that took place on Thanet Island, about the order of the world being destroyed. But let me ask you, 
Who brought that about if not them and their scheming? My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive and I'll eventually find her. Triss? Yennefer? That's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm, true. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I'll find Triss as soon as I've dealt with the assassin. What about Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. Have you tried to, uh, approach Vess? I've thought about it. On the one hand, I've never rogered a soldier, but on the other, the clean clang of steel against steel and an intimate moment could put off even the most attentive lover. Why do you ask? I'd just like to know. Heard anything about Letho? They say he's hiding in the ravines. He's not alone. I know. I fail to comprehend exactly why you have it in for him. He escaped, so what? You're no king, and as such, are hardly in danger. Letho knows a lot about me. There are certain things that probably only he can explain. I'm not so certain you really want to know them. We'll see. Let's say you catch him. What then? I'll decide once I've heard him out, learned the truth. Maybe I'll see his point, or maybe I'll just cut off his head. I wonder what Sheila's doing in Henselt's camp. You're not alone, because she's wondering what you're doing at the King's side. How do you know? She asked me about you. What did she want to know? I have no idea. I realized right off she was sniffing, and told her she could smell my fingers if she would. But that'd be all she'd get. And she gave up. Mm-hmm. See how careful I am? And they don't trouble the local. <laughs> Not a... Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? Wanna roll a few rounds of dice poker? Shall we play? You've cleaned me out. Anyone else I can fleece around here? Nasota, the quartermaster's helper. He plays dice. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. I've heard good things about Whistling Wendy. At your service. My prettiest girl, tis true. Fool soldiers gave her that stupid nickname. Tidy yourself, Wendy. Witcher on the way. Come on in. What do you desire, my hero? I want your smile to part the gates of paradise. Come with me. Vincent Trot. You're a little elusive. Here alone. Not wise, Witcher. We'll see about that. I'm wearing Selkirk's armor, you know. Pretty much renders me invincible in a duel. Give me the chainmail and I'll forget everything. Whistling Wendy, your plot. I know about the coins. You're Death Mole's hound. I don't trust you. You don't need to. I just need the chainmail. Not interested in anything else. Time to remove it? And hand it over. Then you'll be on your way. And all will be well. Doesn't sound like my kind of story. 
How's this instead? I'll kill you, take your swords and gold, and the gods will rain good fortune upon me for ridding them of a filthy mutant. Die. Kill him! to spy on us. Who would I be spying for? For Henselt. The Death Mode. I heard they hired you. It just so happens we have common aims. But don't worry. Observing Vernon Roach isn't one of them. In that case, to what do I owe this pleasure? I was wondering what you're actually doing here, Vernon. The Blue Stripes never want for work. Especially in a hotbed like this. You're not about to tell me, are you? And here I thought we had something special. I've got my finger on the pulse, and I've not forgotten what I came here for, Geralt. Foltest's assassin. Precisely. He's holed up like a rat, and he'll meet a rat's end. Any idea what's happening on the other side of the Battle of Spectres? Well, I expect not much has changed. A bunch of dwarves, elves, and peasants are trying to figure out how to save Edern. Saskia's an exceptional woman. But just a woman, nonetheless. Besides, how would you know? Just a hunch, and there's all the talk. Besides, to assemble an army of elves, dwarves, and humans who fight side by side, you pretty much have to be extraordinary. You'll not persuade me some woman will defeat Henselt in battle. You're forgetting one thing. Kedwin's just fighting for a better life. Edern's fighting for life itself. Motivation's important, I grant you. But it can't trump knowledge of the art of war. Tamaria's my only concern. And I'll be glad to see Henselt's forces tied up here. That's a good thing. Think he wouldn't stop after conquering Edern? What if he quickly deals with Saskia and turns his army west? It's possible, but I hope it won't come to that. You need to be careful. Death Mold can't learn that you're holding a Kedweni spy. He won't. Don't you worry, man. Death Mold has an excellent net of his own spies. That spy we caught at Laredo's, Arnold. He's prancing around in the next world. Why did you kill him? What else was I to do? On the boat, you said he was living proof of Henselt's conspiracy against Tamaria. I didn't plan it. 
He just didn't survive the interrogation. Maybe you shouldn't have keelhauled him. If you'd been cooperative, I wouldn't have had to. Did he spill anything interesting? He was tough, but waterboarding can be incredibly effective. Eventually, he coughed up that Henselt was trying to bring the border towns to a boil. Henselt's not stupid. He wouldn't want to wage war on two fronts. That Rattlerito was supposed to stir unrest in Flotsam. Luckily, you rearranged his intestines with your blade. What news of good old Flotsam? Thanks to us, it still is good old Temerian Flotsam. If I hadn't sniffed out Lorito's treachery, a Kedweni garrison would be stationed there already. Constable John Natalis has appointed a new commandant to Flotsam. Let's hope he doesn't turn out to be another whore. You miss your old friend, Yorvith? If the gods are kind, he'll yet fall into my hands. That said, I wonder what the scoundrel's up to. In the face of possible disaster... He got up! That's more yeah. of gates! Greetings, Geralt, in these humble foreign walls. Greetings. My heart rejoiced to see that dear old noggin of yours emerge from a sea of unknown faces. You're spending all your time in Roach's camp. Have you two become chums? Chums? That's a bit rich. But he doesn't piss me off as much as he used to. Either he's changed or I've grown accustomed. Maybe both. Maybe. Besides, the camp has loads of other attractions. His men cheat me at cards, and there's a tit or two to hang the gaze upon. If that's what you're after, there's a regular whorehouse in Hensel's camp. How can you compare a whore's tits to Vessi's? I could buy myself the others, but hers are just to be admired. You've been around. Heard anything about the Kingslayer? Just that Henselt is shitting himself for fear that his head is about to be separated from his shoulders. For me, the assassin's hiding out in the ravines, an ideal place for his kind. Anyway, I've been wondering, why the fuck do you care so much about this camp that you're so ready to stick your neck out to find him? Because I'm innocent. The wise know that. And I didn't think you'd trouble yourself about what the fools think. As long as Letho is free, I'll remain a suspect. I can only prove my innocence by presenting the culprit. No other way. What will you do when you find him? We'll see when I talk to him, when I learn the truth. Maybe I'll see his point. Maybe I'll just cut off his head. All rested after the boat trip? Don't remind me of that. My stomach chums at the very thought. You could have traveled here on foot. If I'd known it before days of rocking, I would have. And if they told me I'd be eating dried and salted cod three times a day, I'd have clobbered myself with my own hammer before boarding that boat. I see you prefer the company of Vernon and his men. The soldier in Hensel's camp looks at me like I'm a lump of rotten meat. You think they suspect you of being a spy? Who the fuck knows what's in their bloody heads? You know what? I regret I'm not a spy. I feel like the last bloody cunt here. Somewhere nearby, my brethren are sharpening their axes, just waiting for the fog to dissipate so they can blunt them on some kid when he necks. Smaller comes and tells him the elder and the shooter are coming for you. He was. Fen! Keep dropping your guard like that and they'll beat your kisser to a pulp! Who do we have here? Someone who's worried about your close combat skills. We practice a few hours every day. And here I thought practice makes perfect. Really? Care to show us your skill then? White haired one. Why not? Who's willing? I'll try. See if you're as strong in your arms as you are in your gob. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room! Close the distance! What's a pig's eye in his ass? The elder and the recruit enter. Yeah. The <laughs> Son, they've come to take you to war. And he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. He spreads his cheeks and says, <laughs> Can you guard up? Can see that. That's more like it. Yeah. Got a feeling Fen won't remember much of that fight. With a few more surprises up our sleeves. How about you? Why not? Who's willing? Take me on. I fancy learning a few witches' tricks. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room! Close the distance! Oh! <laughs> 
Keep your guard up. That's more like it. Ha! He's still young. He'll learn. With a few more surprises up our sleeves. How about you? Why not? Who's willing? Run out of monsters to slay? Why are you fighting my men? Just checking to see if you've taught them well. And? I'm amazed they're still standing. You lackeys! Letting yourselves get thrown around like hay bales. Maybe you want to give me a try. Show me what you got, my striped friend. You win. Feels like I've been kicked by a mare. Pleasure getting a few slugs in the mug from you, Witcher. We're always eager to learn. You deserve a prize. I don't need a reward. It's no reward, just a sign of gratitude. We drag our asses round the world and collect all sorts of scrap metal. Take something. May it serve you well. See you soon. Not so fast, Witcher. You'll take me on now. You snitch. So be it. What the bloody hell's all this about? We're just practicing. Want practice? I'll have you cleaning the canteen with your bare asses. How's that for practice? Back to the camp! Aye, sir. That doesn't end this. Stop looking for square coins. You're blitted again, and you just might lose your head. So long. <laughs> Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Vess. What news from the Blue Stripes? They're keeping their eyes open, as always. We've lost the Assassin's Trail. The trail led us here. If it goes no further, the Assassins must be in the vicinity. I see two possibilities. Either Hensort hired them, or he's their next target. We'll find out soon enough. Hensort thinks he'll take Vergen easily. A regular army will always win against a popular uprising. I know this, Hensort knows it. I don't understand why Saskia doesn't. Maybe she'd rather die than surrender. Or she has a surprise in store for Hensort. Possibly. Hensort keeps the precise plans of his campaign a secret. Why haven't you set up in the Kedweni camp? Information becomes more available the closer you get to the source. Hensort doesn't trust us and I don't blame him. If not for this damn fog, we'd have moved even further south. Could Henselt himself be behind the assassinations? You don't think it's possible? Consider the Pontar Valley. Temeria, Kedwin and Edirn have been disputing it for generations. Only now, Temeria and Edirn are kingless. True. Henselt might profit from the deaths of Full Test and Demoven, but covert assassinations aren't his style. I suppose you're right. The Kedweni king seems to love a good war. Must take a look around. Perhaps that's his ruse. When the cheese goes missing from the larder, no one thinks of blaming the cat. The coin says these are pansies, not soldiers. But we'll have to make. What else am I to do? What do you want? Can I talk to him? You're all right. I've heard you've been helping our lads. Talk away, but be quick. If the corporal sees you, he'll have your balls. And ours. Bloody. Fat girl. 
What do you want? Information. You from Yorvis' unit? I'm proud of it! Yorvis will avenge me. Maybe. I'm responsible for you being captured. I don't understand. I warned Yorvith that the Kingslayer had betrayed him. Your leader's alive because of me. You lie! You're not one of us. Never claimed to be. I'm not interested in your fight, nor in that of the humans. I have my own goals. I'm hunting the Kingslayer and need information. Will you help me? I'd rather not reveal anything to the Dwan. Do you know Elder's speech? Discernment and Rendon's hest. Ev de sala emes ep de mevneslet. Seer here. En ted verletho ken en sterk dun verneer wel. Er te dreye ep duan. Seer et en ox vat gelm est. Vena arthur neck wel. Visse egen. Erle egen. Ken hat mer. Then thar emen dun. Dark mammert. Ken then de arme hest. Then ne serla vidasala in esne geert. Venea senden ert el. Er te arme? Ne segen ir? El sera? Mekian behented fen esert. Seret ne ura yasen het. Er te orks garthe seget en et rothen kem hest. Te ern motha diam. Rathain? Que diables, Rathain verderel. Vesen et rothen deren henselt gerel vorte hen. Den diarm el estrea hen. Ne mer se health. Ve que an me deletreas. En her et kianje esme gez verf. Se eeste. En quien e diable eb ars kied, ken iese the treas. Mesem treacle. Ve kele el ethene hiske. Niam e herf, este er velf eb kethen ken hest. Quintes ken. Then kean velt emer dor vat gern. Vafel. Quen erl vat gern hen linge quen. Neme seht. Oxen en seret est elle quen. Vel melt quen bled quenith belk. Veden emeth quen bled. Seet e step gathis en treet quenis. Vafel. Meet your match. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed. He was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugrs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you are here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. I found Trot a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Ah, oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. I'm afraid he took those with him. There was a reward on the conspirators' heads. Do you wish to collect, or is it beneath your witch's dignity? I don't want any gold for this. Why not? You wouldn't understand. I found a letter addressed to the people of Kedwin. A letter? Hmm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? 
I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only Witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Hensel's a prick. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. Can we start the tourney? Ready? I am indeed. Let's begin then. Witcher Geralt of Rivia will now fight the Honorable Gwydion. Witcher Geralt wins! You won. Let me know when you're ready for the next fight. All right. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. Can we continue the tournament? Ready? I am indeed. Let's begin, then. The Witcher will now take on the Honorable Rendai. You won. Let me know when you're ready for the next fight. All right. Tournaments. That's a pastime for real men. Can we continue the tournament? Ready? I am indeed. Let's begin, then. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia will now take on the fearless Boren. Is there not a single fucking soul in Kedwin able to beat the Witcher? Dongfield cowards, all of you! Apparently not in Kedwin. But in Temeria, perhaps. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> that could be interesting. If you win, I'll double the reward. You more like him when I could conquer half the world. Give him the prize! He's earned it! The king wanted a spectacle and he got it. A shame the result was so predictable. Witches are not invincible. Seems this one is. But you were brave nonetheless. She fought harder than all the Kedweni soldiers combined. You're very kind. Wasn't so kind in the arena. He took me seriously. That's true. Thanks for not giving me a handicap. 
I'm going back to my camp. Visit me if you want. Women. Here's your praise. I need to get back to my business. Thanks. What do you want? They say blacksmiths are strong. I say they're fat pussies. And I say I can show you just how strong we are. Careful you don't snap something. Show me your coin if you want to wrestle. Let's do this. You might want to put a cold compress on that. Need some help, Monster Slayer? I want to talk, dog of war. I've heard much about you, Witcher. Greetings. Greetings, Captain. Does Henselt pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Fergan? Bradley's Blue Banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the time. Is Hensel paying you to wait? Curiosity itching you, Witcher. Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Death Mole's given us silver-plated weapons and protective amulets. On your advice, as I heard it. We're to observe the mist and, if need be, drive off the Ritz. Since you're already watching it, pay attention to the size of the cloud. I need to know if it's expanding. Well... How fast? It's almost imperceptible, but it's constant. A foot, perhaps two a day. What does that mean? It means I have to hurry. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Bart Bargy? I remember him. Strong. For a peasant. They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an elf guardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong. He lacked stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in the profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangra for the championship, you've got to beat the best contenders. You've defeated them all. So we can wrestle. Whenever you're ready. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, neither of us should wrestle for free. Lucky that Nilf Guardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangrat would be a heap of white bones right now. Lucky for you we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. Apparently he grips like a vice. The word has it, but cheats. How? Performance-enhancing potions. Beyond the 
tactable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coin. Yeah? You're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. Great. I want to see the best equipment you have. I've got the coin. The army stands to gain, not lose by me. I should think so. So? I'd like to play dice. Wanna play right now? You won. Do you want coin or something special? I'll take my coin, thanks. 